I am pleased to present you some findings which are in detail described in the paper Examination of the Attitude and Assessment of New, Use and Overhaul Products and the Influence on the Purchase Decision. My name is Alexandra Weber and I will guide you through this presentation today. So, let us start with the motivation. Products can only exist on the market if a demand exists. The demand actually the turnover of electronic and electrical equipment industry amounts solely in Germany for 193 billion euro per year. The study investigates the perception of overhaul products. One method is remanufacturing. Hereby a product is treated to achieve again the state as good as new. But what do you think? What share of the turnover does it have? Do you see the little green point at the button? It is less than 0.5%. Remanufacturing only takes a small part of the turnover of manufactured goods. The electronic and electrical equipment has a share of around 7% of the turnover generated by remanufacturing industry. This raises the question why? Why can't it gain more? An important factor is the customer who decides in favor of the product. But how does the customer actually decide? When buying products, what do I know about them? Does my knowledge influence my purchase intention or is my gut feeling rather important? And what does it mean for second life products? There is several research in this field from various perspectives. Studies dedicated to the influence of information on purchase are seldom conducted on the example of electronic and electrical devices of daily use. This study is dedicated to the question of how the customer perceives a product when a single information changes. What does it mean for the purchase intention of reprocessed product? In order to investigate this issue, a question-based survey was conducted. Respondents were always offered two options. They had to show which alternative they prefer. Further, they had to state their assessment of several characteristics for each option. In total, eight alternatives summarized in this table were offered. The characteristics were quality, durability, reliability, performance and sustainability. As product example, a smartphone representing personal electronic device that is a subject to rapid technological development were used. In total, 109 respondents with an even gender distribution in age between 18 and 65 years took part in the survey. All the persons had a residence in Germany. The majority of the respondents are students from Berlin with a different background, visualized here in red. One third of the respondents are farther persons with a residence in Germany, not only in Berlin. Since the same tendencies could be identified in all the groups considered, even if their strength might differ slightly, the results were combined and presented as a single sample. The questions were structured in four groups. First, the benefits of used products and the actual purchase action were considered. The respondents were asked if used products are a good alternative to new purchases and if they offer a significant price advantage compared to new devices. Then the respondents had to state if they buy used or generally overhaul products. After the initial questions, the previous mentioned alternatives were offered. The respondents had to state their assessment to mention the characteristic of a product. To gain more objective view, first the question was asked for each of the shown alternatives. Additionally, in the end, a similar question was asked with regard to a general smartphone. In the end, some important considerations of the respondents were when making a purchase decision were asked, as for example, the statement that sustainability is important to them when buying a smartphone. 
This allows the attitude of customer to be compared with the actual decision. For all questions, a symmetrical four-point scale was used. Now we can discuss some interesting findings. Approximately two-thirds of the respondents think that used products are a good alternative to new purchases. The majority recognizes the price advantage. Nevertheless, most of the respondents state not to buy used products. Almost no one stated to purchase overhauled products. Even if advantages are recognized in general, the actual, action, the actual action may not follow. Here we can see the estimation of the quality for smartphones. Let us start with the estimation of the characteristic for each alternative. The majority estimates the quality of a new average smartphone as good, giving the information that the housing is made of biodegradable plastics, the positive assessment falls slightly. The quality of a used smartphone is perceived as good by approximately half of the respondents, whereas the majority thinks positive of the quality of an overhauled smartphone. Let us now compare these findings with the perception for a generally for a general smartphone. Both for use and overhaul smartphones the quality is worse than for a new device. Only 20% perceive the overhauled smartphone as equal to a new device. A significant amount of respondents rate the quality of overhauled smartphone as rather good or good better than a used one but still worse than a new device. Let us look how respondents perceive sustainability of products. Just giving a single information that a smartphone is made of biodegradable plastics makes the people perceive it's more sustainable. An interesting finding is that also a premium model is perceived as sustainable. Other options are perceived less sustainable. It is important that used products are perceived is less sustainable than other options. Also, overhaul products are not perceived as sustainable by many. Therefore, the, there is no real, really a positive perception of the, this device as a green product, as described in some papers. An interesting finding is that there is no correlation between the personal wish for sustainability and the choice of the alternative itself. So, even if respondents state that sustainability is important to them, it doesn't lead to a choice for a sustainable product. Now we can have a short conclusion. As shown, a single information can significantly change assessment of a product. Overhaul products are not perceived just as used, they are perceived often better, but Still, the gap between the overhaul products and new items is large. The marketing for overhaul products for remanufacturing as green products seems to be insufficient. What can we change? We can't change a customer, so the offer of products has to be adjusted to make the world or the purchase decisions more sustainable. So maybe just an outlook. What if remanufacturing and a new production would be combined? What if there would be no difference between as good as new and new? Thank you for your interest on this topic and do you have any questions?